So a lot of you have been hearing about the flamethrower being an insane charger killing weapon, but you may not be getting the same results consistently. Sometimes the charger dies instantly, and then other times this. Light the floor on fire, light the head on fire. <laughs> See what I mean? There's something weird about- So there is a slight learning curve when it comes to using this weapon, and I figured I'd make a video on the current mechanics of this weapon, what it's good against, what it's not good against, and some tips on a good loadout, which will cover some of the weaknesses, and most importantly, how to use this to consistently kill chargers fast. So before we get into it, as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more Helldivers 2 content. I will be streaming on YouTube at some point after I post this video. Be sure to turn on notifications and come hang out in the live stream because I will be streaming the flamethrower today. So let's get straight into it. Now, the first mechanic of the flamethrower we must cover for you to understand how this weapon works is that the burning effect is not what's killing enemies. It is the actual on hit damage of this weapon. So pre-buff of the flamethrower, it seemed like this gun did no damage on shot, but letting them sit in the fire and burn was what did the damage to them. That's why this gun wasn't that great, because it didn't even kill scavengers instantly. They actually had to sit and burn for a couple seconds. However, the flamethrower was one of the strongest mob clears in the game. As long as you could contain enemies in the fire and let them burn for a couple seconds if they're small, and up to 10 seconds if it's like a bile spitter or something. But that's why this gun was so bad against chargers and bile titans, for example, because they had so much health that burning them did not kill them fast. However, what they seemingly did change on this weapon was the actual on hit damage. So you know how a Hulk flamethrower will sometimes just one shot you? That's what this gun feels like now. So you want to actually aim at weak spots as if you are shooting a normal gun and you will find that in the case of the charger's leg, this gun ignores the armor and kills it very fast. Now personally, as a side note, I would have rather seen them add a fire stacking mechanic so that all fire weapons felt better and maybe the flamethrower just started enemies off with a lot more stacks. That way it could feel as strong as it is now, but the other fire items got some love too. But that's a completely different story. The point is you need to basically ADS this gun at enemy weak spots. Now one thing you need to know about this gun is at the current moment it can't kill bile titans on its own. It can shoot out the bile titan stomach and the squishy sack on the neck as well, but that's about all it will do. Yesterday on stream, I unloaded almost all the flamethrower ammo into it, and with the way this gun was killing chargers, I was pretty sure it would have been able to kill a Bile Titan as well, but as far as I can tell, it just can't. Now, if anyone's able to kill a Bile Titan with this gun, please post a clip in my Discord, and I'll be happy to make a new video on this gun. So, if you're running the flamethrower, you're gonna need stratagems that actually kill Bile Titans to be able to finish them off quickly. And I will be recommending a decent starter loadout for this gun, but first, we gotta go over some of the other mechanics because there are other things going into that loadout as well. Now the flamethrower is gonna work best at close range, obviously given the fact that it doesn't reach very far, which is why this gun is good against bugs, but it's not gonna be as good against robots. Most robot fights obviously happen at mid to long range, so just stick to bugs for now. Now you will need a good plan for dodging out of fights, and that's why the jetpack is a great option or a good plan for healing because you will inevitably catch yourself on fire, which is why I like to run the Stimpak armor. But at the same time, this gun actually does go through a decent amount of canisters, especially at higher difficulties, so there's a chance that you might want to run the supply pack instead because that'll give you more canisters, more stims. The supply pack honestly seems like a really good option, and I'll test whether I like the supply pack or the jetpack later on, but at this point I think they're both pretty good options depending on your play style. But back to the topic of a lot of close fights. Even though this gun does melt enemies when you aim at their weak spots properly, the large amount of swarms at higher difficulty means don't be fooled by the power of this weapon. You really will want to just tag enemies and run away kite them, and then come back for another hit of fire until they are dead. This may sound a little bit annoying to do, but what is way more annoying is lighting a hunter on fire, it doesn't die instantly, and then it not only tags you with its tongue attack, but it also sets you on fire, basically buffing the already annoying hunters. But by kiting enemies, many of the smaller ones will start dying off once they are burning, and then you can stick around a little longer to pick off the bigger guys. And that's one point in favor of the jetpack over the supply pack, because it does help you get away from those close quarter situations when you need to. But those are the main things that I have noticed with the flamethrower only one day into the update. 
So let me give you guys my starter loadout for this weapon that I hope is going to work out for you. Now like I said, I will be streaming the flamethrower live later on on YouTube a couple hours after posting this video, so if you want to see how this loadout works then just catch my stream later on, and if you're seeing this video the next day or so, I will add the playback to the description when I'm done, so just check down there. Now for the loadout, you're going to want at least two stratagems to deal with bio titans, you're going to want a backpack, and then of course the flamethrower as your fourth stratagem. So I'm going to be recommending the auto cannon sentry, either a 500 kilogram or a rail cannon strike, depending on which one you prefer. Now the 500 kilogram does come with two charges, but remember the range on the strike is pretty misleading. You want to use it almost as if it's an orbital precision strike, but it's obviously way stronger than that. The rail cannon strike on the other hand will consist consistently kill titans after you shoot their stomachs, either with the flamethrower or your primary weapon, but keep in mind you only get one charge of the rail cannon strike and it does have a decently long cooldown. I say go for the one you're more comfortable with using. Now when it comes to auto cannon sentries, if you haven't used sentries that much before, you need to learn how to place these. They can die if they get focused by a stray bile titan or a stray charger, but it's aiming at a different enemies and it can't really defend itself all the time depending on what it's targeting. So make sure you place these either a safe distance away or up on a hill somewhere hopefully with no enemies around it. And the auto cannon sentry should be good for taking out multiple chargers and or multiple bio titans. I think this is one of the best options for the flamethrower, given that it can take out multiple big guys with only one call in. And in a pinch, if there's no big guys around, you can still call this in to deal with some extra mobs. Now on lower difficulties, on the other hand, try whatever you want with the flamethrower and just have fun with it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you've been using with the flamethrower so that other people can get some tips and tricks from you guys down in the comments because honestly you guys have left me some amazing comments i have used some of your comments in some of my videos before and i'm sure it'll help here and given that we're only one day into the patch so i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out